two, one, and liftoff. It is the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launching a capsule of cargo to the International Space Station earlier today. The first part is success, but the company's innovative dream of being able to reuse the rocket didn't quite pan out. It landed on the floating barge it was aiming for, but too hard to remain intact. This isn't the first time SpaceX has attempted to land the rocket safely after the launch. Johanna Wagstaff has been following the story. She's excited about the story. And always you want to, you always are, and you want to tell us about the story. That's right, yeah. So the first part was a success, and we should start there, and that Falcon 9 is currently en route to rendezvous with the ISS Friday morning, carrying food, supplies, and science experiments, and an Italian espresso machine uh, to boot. Let me show you the, uh, take you back to pictures from the liftoff, though, because, of course, the second stage, the part where they were going to attempt, an audacious third attempt, to land the part of the rocket that usually just falls back into the ocean as trash, they were going to try and attempt to land that on a floating barge in the Atlantic Ocean. And as you heard, it was a failure, but uh, no easy feat. And the uh, first stage did detach as normal. Uh, it floated back down to the platform. It landed, but it had a little extra vertical thrust, and that's when it toppled over on its side. So it sounds like the uh, platform itself is okay, but uh, the rocket was destroyed, as have many uh, before its time. So launches are always fun to watch, but uh, a lot of extra eyes on this particular rocket. And I've actually got a picture from the actual drone in the ocean, the ship. Uh, this is just an automated picture, and you can see the rocket coming down to land just before it toppled over. We'll probably get video over the next couple of days uh, as the CEO Elon Musk has alluded to, but uh, again, extra eyes wondering if this was the moment that space exploration changes. So the landing didn't work the way it was supposed to, and this reminds me of the gentle words of my grade six gym teacher, even in failure, there's success. <laughs> exactly, and this is where I get really excited about this. So this was an audacious second attempt, and I wanna show you pictures from uh, the original attempt back in January. Again, it hit the bullseye then too, and you can see that rocket coming down, unfortunately, crashing and burning again. This is back in January, but this is the second time SpaceX has hit a bullseye after descending from the edge of space. And that is a pretty, a pretty cool feat in itself. In fact, Elon Musk describes it as trying to balance a broomstick on your hand in a windstorm. So that's how difficult this is. And the fact that they've hit the bullseye twice in two major attempts is, is pretty cool. And I, I do have some video to show you what uh, this simulation would look like as it comes down to this floating drone. They will keep trying again. Every time they have a resupply mission back up to the space station, of course, NASA has awarded SpaceX and Boeing the contract to carry a U.S crews in the future to the space station. So every time they have another resupply mission, they're going to attempt this. And that is crucial because uh, the cost of trying, of cost of uh, sending a rocket to space and then losing that first stage rocket is kind of like throwing away the multi-million dollar engines of a Boeing 747 after every transatlantic flight. So the costs are exorbitant and this is definitely the future of uh, space travel. And uh, Elon Musk says by the end of the year, he's hoping there'll be an 80% success rate. So things are happening fast. As always, you make it very clear and very interesting. Thank you, Johanna. You're welcome.